the example one we have to graph polar equations by plotting points now this is a polar equation whenever r equal to the angle is there it's equation equation means equal to sine will exist now r equals sine theta if you remember in the introduction we had seen this standard form is of a circle now how do we plot is by making the table of values so the step one make the table of values so we know it's a polar equation some you know it'll repeat itself isn't it so now it's it's like a circle so 0 90 180 270 and then back to 360 degree so we need to have a entire circle i mean like this you know so you need to plot points i mean take values for theta from 0 to 360 that is why within the interval 0 to 2 pi this means it is from 0 to 360 degrees this is what it means so now make a table where theta is to be assumed and then put it in this equation and find the r value so we have taken over here in radians but it's up to you you can make the table even in degrees it's fine so now over here the um, if you want to convert into radian or degree it's up to you but now if you are just changing to radi radian to degree it's very simple we have done it in the last lesson instead of pi may put 180 and then write it as it is now pi by 6 is 30 degrees and similarly you can check the other ones pi by 3 will be 60 then this is 90 120 150 180 you can try doing the calculator or if you know these radian values if you start solving play a few problems you'll be thorough with these radians as well then this is the uh, these are the angles so now the interval over here at uh, at a regular interval of 30 degrees all the values are taken from 0 to 2 pi how do you substitute over here it's up to you you can use the degree value that is sine say for example sine theta is uh pi by 6 is 30 so i'll type this 30. sorry i have to clear the calculator i'll tell you why in a minute sine 30 and now this is the answer 1 by 2. so now how do we consider this value is directly in the calculator over here if you go and delete it and put pi that is shift pi divided by 2 you won't get the correct answer now the reason being in default your calculator will be in degrees mode that means it can only take the input of degrees it won't take a radian mode now this is d over here that is if you press shift and mode you will come to know option number three is degree but that is the default mode now this if you want to use pi by six as directly you need to change it to radian that is by pressing four now you can see the r value denotes a radian and now i'm going to get the answer see okay so it's pi by 2 i've taken so this is the answer pi by 2 is 90 degrees let me type 90 degrees but now if i press equal to i'm going to get wrong answer why because it's in radian now 90 it's in terms of degrees right so i need to press shift mode and 3 now i can see the d that is degree now the answer is correct similarly you can try any other value you will get the same answer so now say for example i'll take uh, 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 is 120 degrees so 120 now it's in degrees that is root 3 by 2 or 0 0.9 is approximated let me take pi uh, 2 by 3 pi so it's 2 pi by 3 shift and pi now i can i cannot use degrees i need to press shift 4 and radians and the answer is root 3 pi 2 that's 0 0.9 so this is how we can find the values of r okay if you're getting confused with the radian degree and all that forget that what you do is just use degrees simple as that it's fine so instead of taking instead, instead of taking the radians just have degrees 0 30 degrees 60 90 120 150 180 and so on okay no need of taking these so that's the uh, that's the thing and now once you have the values just sketch the graph now over here once we sketch it you will come to know see how do you sketch is zero and zero this is the polar grid 
one point at zero and zero. That's it. Now, next one. Now, all the points are over here. Yeah, most of the points are marked. Now, what about this pi by six? Where is pi by six? That is 30 degrees. What's the value? 0 0.5. So this is the point. Next, pi by three over here. 0 0.9. One is over here. 0 0.5 is over here. This is 0 0.75 and 0 0.9 is somewhere over here. Same way, pi by three, uh, pi by two, that is one, exactly over here, two pi by three, and you just plot all these. Now, what about the other? See, you come over here, uh, 0 0.5, this, and zero, okay? Pi is again zero. What is pi? What is the value of r? Zero, we got the same point. Now, what about the next one? Seven pi by six. Seven pi by six is in this line, right? But look at the value, it's minus 0 0.5. So you don't mark it in this, you mark it in the opposite side, it goes back to this. So again, you get the same points if you're starting to mark. So what you realize over here is these are repetitive. So if you're going to plot this, it's just the same over here, okay? This and this. So you do not need to do all these, but you just take few values and plot, you will get the circle. And then join the dots, and this is the graph. That's it. This is the answer. Similarly, you can check the answer for 3 cos theta. Same like whatever we just now did. Please try this by yourself. It is best you pause the video now, pause it right now, and do it by yourself. I hope you tried it by yourself by pausing the video. Now, I will tell you the answer. It seemed like the last problem. We just now saw it. Take the intervals from 0 to pi, 2 pi. It's just that theta, uh, over here the r is 3 cos theta. Now, we uh, take the values from 0 to 2 pi at different intervals. You can take it in degrees like 0, 60, 90, and so on. And then put the values over here. You know, cos 0 is 1. Multiply by 3, it's 3. Same way, cos 30. And over here, you will get the answers. Use the calculator for this and then sketch it in the polar grid. When you're sketching over here, 0 is 3. So where is 0 and 3? This is the first point. Then pi by 6 is 2.6. So pi by 6, 2.6. And you will get all these points. So even over here, if you start graphing, when you do so much, then it will be repetitive. Repetitive, sorry. See, over here you can see pi. Where is pi? this line but it's minus three that means you don't go at the front you get the opposite side one two three this is the minus three value this graphing we had done in the last lesson so if you do not remember the last lesson please go back to the previous videos then you will be th uh, you, you will understand how to graph these in polar grid because we have done many problems in the last lesson then in this the only extra thing is making the table of values and then graphing it so this is how we can easily solve it. Nothing much. It just depends on the equation. And then make some uh, table of values, uh, you know, consider some values of theta and then graph it up.